what the team needs is first and foremost. Um, and, and that's just how it goes. That's the component of team sport and football in particular. Um, that's always the first and foremost. But from a team perspective also, um, it, it's better to have volunteers as opposed to hostages. And so that's good for the team as well. Playing the hits, Mike Tom. He loves that, that one, line, man. right? He loves uh, that line. Hey, okay, stop using draft picks then. I mean, come on. Come on. I, you know, I, it's, I get it when a guy wants out. I, I, it's a bad precedent, though, to give every guy who wants out what he wants because then anybody who wants out knows if I make enough noise, I'm going to get out of here. But you know what? The wisdom in it may be you make a place where people want to be. A team that sure. guys want to play for. That's right. And Melvin Ingram wanted out because he wasn't getting the playing time that he thought he was going to get. So yeah. they accommodated him and off he goes and they get a six round pick in return for it. As long as, stop it. As long as, <laughs> that's my crusade against the draft. Yes. As long as everybody stays healthy, it'll yeah. be fine. But that's the risk when you start trading away your veteran depth in the season. You get an injury, you're going to wish you had that guy. Yeah, no doubt about it. But I think he just looks at it kind of like what you're talking about. Like he doesn't he doesn't want that kind of hovering around his locker room and dealing with that. He doesn't. He wants positive vibes. He wants everybody in the fight together. He knows he needs his defense to be like angry and pissed off on a weekly basis and they're going to have to dominate. I mean, come on. The Steelers are gotten back into like they're they're playing a style of football like they did with like Duck Hodges and Mason Rudolph a few uh, two years ago. That's basically what they're doing. They're going, we're just going to control the clock. Hey, quarterback, don't mess it up. And defense, we know you'll knock some heads off and make a few plays for us as we go on throughout the year. Alex Highsmith has been awesome for them. You know, number 56, the other outside linebacker, he really has come on strong the last five or six weeks. I mean, you turn on the film and he pops. So uh, I, I can understand it from that aspect. Yeah, you lose a little depth, but I think the attitude thing, Mike, to your point, is more of the, the big picture idea probably Tomlin's looking at. And this helps the Chiefs because you have a pass rusher now and less of an urgency to force Chris Jones to the outside. That was the grand experiment going into the season. Now what they can do, Chris, right? More Chris Jones inside. And we saw him get a sack from the inside in that final drive on Monday night when the Giants were trying to either tie the game or take the lead. A hundred percent. He was very, last two weeks, he has been inside more than he was early on in the year. And... To me, it, it's it's great for their football team. It does. I mean, he popped a lot the other night. Again, we're, the stat sheet's not going to show what Chris Jones did. But other than Aaron Donald, this has been the best defensive tackle in football the last three years. He's been almost unblockable. And I think a defense end, yeah, you, you could cancel him out a little bit, let alone his skill set is not necessarily made for that. I was a big fan of the idea, but at the end of the day, after watching a few weeks, I went, well, he disrupts too many plays inside. And, yeah, now you can get him inside with Jerron Reed and, of course, Frank Clark and, uh, and Melvin Ingram on the edge. That does give them a little something substantial. They need something because they just can't create pressure with their front four. He's the only guy right now. So I understand that. And Melvin Ingram's got a little gas in the tank still. And Frank Clark was coming on a little bit late in the game. He was. It just You're right. Like he was getting held a lot the other night. I said that yesterday. It just seemed like he was getting held a lot. And maybe they'll start calling that if it continues. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.